Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Today we're going to Knott's Berry Farm because they made a huge announcement on the renovation of Montezuma's Revenge which will reopen for the 2023 season. Now before we get started with all of this make sure you do like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this, subscribe if you are new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video, go in the description for the social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas and for now guys let's talk from Screamscape's article on the Re renovations of Montezuma's Revenge at Knott's Berry Farm. So Knott's Berry Farm has just made a surprise announcement these past couple of days that we'd not even heard whispers about. As of January the 10th, 2022, Montezuma's Revenge will be closing down to undergo major renovations. It was the first flywheel launch coaster of its kind and will upgrade. It'll be upgraded with exciting changes while keeping the ride's unique charm that our detail that our detail guests will love for generations. Uh, more details about just what knots will do to the coaster won't be coming until late this year but they did say that the coaster will not reopen until the 2023 season now screamscape imagines that the goal is to have it reopen no later than the start of summer which means uh montezuma's revenge is going to be down anywhere from 12 to 18 months now what kind of upgrades are we planning to look for with this coaster will the flywheel launch be upgraded to something magnetic now screamscape imagines that modern magnetic braking might be added but what about the roller coaster's trains would they refurbish the existing trains or has the time come to what we have all new trains created now we know that six flags hired out to have new trains built for two of their classic sports golf coasters uh, revolution at six five magic mountain now of course known as the new revolution and uh, of course riddler at six flags over georgia and hershey park hired gerslau to create all new trains for their super duper looper so new trains are always a possibility though not has always kept the original trains in pretty good shape through a constant maintenance rotation program as far as other things are concerned one has to look across the atlantic down to Bolby, belgium where they transform the original flywheel coaster uh Syracuse slash turbine into what is now known as Psyche Underground by enclosing the entire roller coaster. It's worth noting this was only done due to noise complaints the park had received for years from their neighbours. Now while all this indoor setting is unique in the case of Psyche Underground they also purchased new trains from Gerslauer along with changing the launch system to acquire LIM based system. Let's hope that not to study what happened to Psyche as a new magnetic launch has long been criticised as far too slow and gentle in comparison to the original thrill of the flight we all launch so there's definitely some very interesting things that could be done here with Montezuma's Revenge now for those of you um, who need some stats on this legendary coaster because you know let's let's not beat around the bush here this is a legendary roller coaster in the uh, in the coaster community it's always been a legendary roller coaster um, this is a Schwarzkopf flywheel shuttle loop coaster that first opened back on the 21st of May 1978 with a length of 800 feet, a height of 148 feet, a speed of 55 miles per hour. The flywheel launch taking it from 0 to 55 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds with one single loop. Designed by Ingboro Stengel GmbH and sometime between 1993 and 2003, Montezuma's Revenge is repainted with the teal track and yellow supports. So obviously this is a classic coaster that's been through the generations. It's seen its fellow coasters come and go but now let's share my thoughts on this exciting new major renovation to the legendary Montezuma's Revenge. There we are ladies and gentlemen thrill seeks of all ages that is speaking about the renovations of Montezuma's Revenge and what we could expect. Now obviously like I said you've got to look at Psyche Underground, in fact the enclosed it due to the noise complaints you know Montezuma's Revenge I don't think we'll do an enclosure of that type. Um, but obviously there's discussions to be had about whether they're going to go for the magnetic LAM system um, or they're going to keep the original flywheel system um, are they going to add magnetic brakes to the ride are we going to get a new bunch of trains refurbished from Gerslauer or uh, or someone else you know look at the new revolution look at Riddler look at Super Duper Looper at Hershey Park with the Gerslauer trains look at the new trains on Psyche Underground when Turbine slash Syrico at Wallaby Belgium was turned into Psyche Underground um, or Psyche Underground however you like to pronounce it there um, so there's a few different alterations that Knott's Berry Farm could go down in terms of potential routes to renovate Montezuma's Revenge. Now, 
I may not have got the chance yet to go to California and experience this yet, but it's definitely a bucket list coaster because of the nostalgia aspect of it. I have done one of these sort of forward and backwards looping launch coaster type compact layouts before uh, with the Arrow version with Revolution at Blackpool Pleasure Beach a few years back so uh, and, I can't, and hopefully fingers crossed February 12th at Blackpool Pleasure Beach I cannot wait to get back on Revolution excuse me Revolution um, to do one of these shuttle loop coasters again um, but looking on this Schwarzkopf model with the Montezuma's Revenge I think it's going to be interesting to see what kind of route the park go down in terms of renovating the coaster like I said magnetic brakes I think could be a possibility I'd like to see some new trains maybe some new landscaping or theming around the area um, maybe paint it up maybe look a little bit nicer um, give it more of a, a modern Montezuma theme um, there's, a, there's, there's a few things it could do you could, to renovate the coast but also renovate the area around it make it look a whole lot newer um, because Montezuma's Revenge like I say is a classic coaster it's a retro coaster it's a vintage coaster in the community and you know it's nice to see some renovations happen but we want to make sure it's the right renovations to add the extra generations of lifespan onto this coaster so fingers crossed the renovations go down well whatever they may be and of course we'll hear from the the part later this year to see what they are but of course the coaster will open for 2023 uh, it will be closed throughout the rest of this season uh, after january 10th so you've only got a couple of days now to ride it um and after January the 10th, that's it. Closed for renovation, reopens in 2023. So we'll find some more details later this year and we'll uh, see what happens. But a legendary coaster gets the upgrade it deserves. But there we are, guys. Thank you very, very much for this theme park news and update on Knott's Berry Farm and Montezuma's Revenge renovation. Uh, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coach Chow. Kill it on the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a not-tastic day.